Crossroads of the West gun shows have been coming to Del Mar for over 30 years. These are cool. Right Crossroads president Tracy Alcott manages the shows at the fairgrounds. It's a family-owned business and we've been, been coming here. Uh, I came here as a, as a teenager and now we're, here we are with my teenagers are here helping me work. Having never been to a gun show myself, I didn't know what to expect. But once inside, I found it sort of like a Comic-Con for gun enthusiasts. I think it's people who are speaking against firearms don't understand that we are sporting people. Of course people are here buying guns. There's handguns and rifles, but there are also other items too. Namely gun accessories like magazines, ammunition, targets, and lots of individual parts. Every year there are five gun shows at the fairgrounds, but no shows are planned after this December. Thank you, motion carries eight to one. The fairgrounds board voted to postpone the shows for up to a year while it looks at hosting shows without guns or ammunition. A gun show without guns and ammo? No. We'll, we'll, we're looking at other venues. We're not going away. They can put a moratorium on us a year while they do their safety study. Um, without any input from us. Fairgrounds board president Stephen Shoemaker supported holding off on scheduling gun shows. He said the gun shows weren't safe, pointing out incidents reported by the sheriff's department over the last few years that include petty theft, battery, and possession of a controlled substance. Shoemaker also says he spoke with the California Department of Justice about the gun shows. We've had actually two meetings with DOJ, and there have been a number of arrests, felons in the possession here on the fairgrounds, sending their wives and their girlfriends in to buy ammunition and guns here at the fairgrounds. A number of arrests. In fact, I think he said one particular Saturday a year or two ago, there was four such arrests in the parking lot. Is that safe? I don't think so. The gun show doesn't deny there have been arrests at its shows. That's why we have law enforcement here. We pay for law enforcement to be here at the front door. We know DOJ's here. We, we send them a list every week before the show of who we know that's going to be here selling firearms and they inspect that list and let me know who's, a, who's approved and who is not. And then we know they're here in their undercover and in, in uniform capacity and we're glad for that. Crossroads of the West feels its show safety is being unfairly portrayed. Has the fair had arrests? Mm-hmm. Have you, did you have arrests at a concert a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Do concerts have arrests? Yeah, they do. So every event here, not just the gun show, have people here who, who break the law they get arrested. KPBS did a comparison of arrests at fairgrounds events this year. According to the Sheriff's Department, the San Diego County Fair had 13 arrests, ranging from drunken public to spousal battery and DUI. Caboo's 2018 music festival had 16 arrests, minors with alcohol, battery, and possession of narcotics among them. And through four gun shows this year, there has been one arrest by DOJ for a felon in possession of ammunition. Before deciding to put the gun shows on hold, the fairgrounds board listened to hours of public comment. It also received letters of support and opposition from elected officials. But the gun show says while fairgrounds staff talked with them, the actual board left them in the dark. There was no question to, on my mind that before the meeting was started, they had made their mind up. They had to you know, show that they were maybe going through the, through the process, but they didn't. They had made their minds up and they made their decision. and. We had not, anything we could say wouldn't have swayed them any other way. Patrick Kearns, the fairgrounds public safety director, says he attends the gun shows on a regular basis. It's his job to create a safety and security plan for the shows. To buy a gun at the gun show, it's the same as buying a gun at any uh, gun store. you got to comply with all the laws. In a letter to the board, he says the gun shows are in compliance with all local, state, and federal laws and have not had any violations. Part of the board's action, fairground staff have until December of 2019 to return with the proposals for gun shows that promote safety and educational purposes. So far, they haven't contacted us to try and get our input or you know see what we can do to work with them. I think they made the decision in there and they're not really wanting to discuss it. Crossroads of the West says it does not want to leave Del Mar, but will keep having gun shows in San Diego. And we're getting emails from people who, who attend the shows saying, what about this venue? What about this venue? What about? So we've got people who are looking out for us and who want the gun shows to continue in their community. So we'll, we'll, we'll honor that and, and provide a gun show for them. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.